you positive heads out there. Thanks for tuning your beautiful brainwaves into another episode of the Positive Head Podcast, where we are firmly convinced that creating success and happiness is rooted in understanding the ultimate nature of reality and the fact that as human beings, we are all immensely powerful fractals of the one and only source consciousness, which creates and animates all things. Now, of course, understanding this powerful truth is one thing. Applying this incredibly empowering wisdom to everyday life? Well, that's another. Which is exactly why we provide you with a fresh serving of soul food for thought five days a week to help constantly remind you of what matters most. You are it. And I'm your host, Brandon Beecham. I'm the reflection and extension of you who will be here each Wednesday interviewing a different consciousness change maker. And on the other four weekdays, leading the way to ensure that your perspective is consistently expanded, your vibration is constantly elevated, and your heart is overflowing and full. Also, this episode of the Positive Head Podcast is being brought to you thanks to the support of Gaia. If you're not familiar, Gaia is the go-to source for streaming consciousness content online, and you can sign up for your first month for only 99 cents at Gaia.com forward slash positive head. That's spelled G-A-I-A dot com forward slash positive head. Check it out. Greetings, positive heads. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. (laughs) Oh, thank you for having me. It's a real pleasure to be here. You guys are so kind to tune in and allow me to talk into this microphone this fine day. I am... uh, (laughs) Yeah, I'm in one of those moods where I don't even know what I'm going to talk about today. And I feel like that's what I'm going to talk about, not knowing what I'm going to talk about. And isn't that good? I think it's good. I hope you think it's good, too. Before we get to me not talking about stuff or not knowing what I'm going to talk about, I would like to take a moment to read a review on iTunes. That part is a little structured, right? There are some... There are some, I like to, I like to dance with, you know, it's like my powwow episodes. You know, I have my very predictive uh, opening question and ending questions and then a lot of room in between. Same thing. I like to read my iTunes reviews. You know, they uh, not only fuel my fire to continue this labor of love, but they also um, help us to reach new people. So um, if you haven't reviewed on iTunes, I would love you long time if you do. And uh, even if you don't, I'll love you. You guys already know that. But um, let's see here. This one came in by Ashley Loves It. Guys, you're amazing. I feel lighter just listening to this show. A cosmic hug through the ear holes. Thank you for being a bright light. With love, Ashley Hastings. Thank you, Ashley Hastings, for... um, giving a cosmic hug in return because I'm feeling it uh, all over, not just through the ear holes. And uh, (laughs) very sweet of you to take the time. I'm going to read one more since that one was short and sweet. This one came in by Lizzie B in 3D and she said, healing beyond words. I found this podcast after experiencing the Thomas fire and all the contrasts that the fire and subsequent mudslides brought into the lives of so many, including my own. Since the wound is where the light enters, thanks Rumi and Brandon for always quoting, reminding us of this powerful truth. My experience with this beautiful podcast has been one of an incredibly healing light entering what was three to four months ago, a gaping wound in my heart. I've never left an iTunes review before, nor have I ever felt so compelled to do so. No words I can share on this short review could ever do justice to the magnificence that is the Positive Head Podcast. Just know that my vision is clearer, the colors I see in my world are more astounding, and I notice more and more birds chirping each day. If you came across this podcast and read this review... My hope for you is that you feel and come to know in your heart that there are no coincidences and everything happens for a reason. This podcast radiates light and is incredibly healing to even the most devastating of wounds. Brandon and all you positive heads out there, I love you so, 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 so much. Elizabeth. Oh, wow. That one really touched me. 
We love you so, 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 so much back, Elizabeth. It is uh, a pleasure and honor to connect. And yeah, it's, um, wow, there's been a lot of these, you know, fires in California. Thomas Fire, I believe that's the one that was up in Santa Barbara area. Um, You know, I just had Dave Sandoval on uh, the other day, if you guys heard that episode, and uh, the the health pioneer and he ha- he was actually recording in Santa Rosa and he said the the neighborhood he went through to get to the place where he was recording with me he he said there was like three houses left standing out of maybe a hundred in the neighborhood and he had to drive through and he said as an empath it was kind of really hard for him because it took him a minute because he's feeling all the energy of the devastation right there in the neighborhood around him. Can you imagine a neighborhood with three houses left out of a hundred? And that's where he was recording. And you know what I thought in that moment, being the sort of eternal optimist and, uh, you know, as, uh, you know, uh, Elizabeth said here, finding uh, healing and even the most devastating wounds out of the ashes, literally out of the ashes. There, Dave is talking about this incredible, um, you know, plan and program that he's put together to help people to heal themselves. And so out of the ashes, literally him and I are connecting and sharing and broadcasting that message to the world. And so that was something that occurred to me in that moment. And that's really, that's the trick, isn't it? Always finding, um, finding the, the thread where, you know where is the the diamond in the lump of coal right and you may not see it at first that's the that's the trick it's like you don't need to see it right away you might not see it for a long time you might not see it until after this lifetime who knows right but i assure you if you believe that there is there is as you speak you create as you believe you create and um you know, all the pain and suffering and hardship in the world, challenges are truly blessings. And if you tune into that truth, that reality, and no matter what is facing you down, whatever's in front of you, that is where, you know, the the power comes from. That's you have moved into your center. You have moved into your the center of your being, how your higher self views things, how um, you can now take the challenge and you can know that, okay, something from this, something good is coming from this, right? It's happening for me, not to me. And uh, this is, it, it creates such a stable place to live our lives from, right? It's so simple on one hand. And of course, in those challenging moments, it's it's testing us, it's challenging. And you may be ripped apart. Your heart may be stomped on by your next relationship. You may, you know, you've got to be willing to, you came here to experience the the contrast of, of emotions and to be raw, not to put up defenses and try and live as safely as you can with no experience. And how can I protect myself from ever feeling anything and cut myself off? That's not what you came here to do. You came here to feel it all. You came here to experience the contrast. And when you, when you now are looking through the lens, looking through that lens, instead of, oh, you know, um, life is scary and I'm scared of the challenges and they're going to hurt me and you know love isn't at the root of what's going on there's actually something to fear right that's the real difference that this gives you this perspective gives you is there's nothing to fear because it's all happening for love and you trust the process it's like you're a you're a a baby in your higher self's arms if you will if you can think of it like that you know the baby doesn't know what you're doing with it when you put it in the tub. It's probably really scared at first, right? Like, what is this I'm being immersed into? This feels threatening. This feels, you know, well, you're, you're, the baby's actually being cleaned and it's cared for and it's not going to be dropped and it's not going to be drowned. And it's, you know, and it, it, may, uh, it may bring up fearful um, moments when there's a loud noise for the baby because it doesn't know that loud noise is somehow happening for a reason that it is beyond its comprehension, right? So, it's the same thing with us we are literally babies in the you know we are babies in the wild we are small animals in this wilderness of eternity this eternal wilderness and we're on the the we're just dipping our toes into this vast cosmic forest of eternal wonder and what is there we don't know all the things and it's it's intimidating at times but moving into that place of faith and trust 
There's nothing that you got to do. There's nothing that you've got to say. There's nowhere you got to be. I didn't know what I was going to talk about today. You know, I, it's really how I approached it is I wanted to just jump in today. And, um, you know, I always prepare a little bit. I have a loose idea of what I'm going to talk about. And as I move more and more into, you know what, if the message is there's nothing that you've, what if you're less organized and more just in the moment and more in the flow than you ever are? And I always do that to some degree, but what if I just even move more into that space and, and less in, away from the structure, just a little bit more? There's nothing that I've got to do, knowing that the right words will come when I'm in that receptive state. Same thing with whatever your experiences are. Just know that the right what you need next will appear. It's like it's sort of like the the video games, right? If you, if you play video games or I've ever watched anyone else play video games, you know, you go in on this quest and you've got a certain mission and oh, okay, I need to go save the princess from the castle, right? Oh, oh what do I do? How do I do it? Well, I'm going down. Oh, what do you know? Over here, this you know, this old man who runs the shop is telling me he's got a key for me right and you get you know all the all the uh, clues are laying on the way along the way on the, the 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 breadcrumbs are on your trail and you all of us have lived our lives at times not like scared to death about the trail itself not trusting that the breadcrumbs are there waiting for us this is supposed to be a game of hide and seek and discovery and self-discovery you are god playing hide and seek with yourself that's what's what's going on here you that's this is how this is how we do it I think of that Montel, is it Montel? No, not Montel Williams. Um, is it, ah, I can't remember that song. That song from the 90s, this is how we do it. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of you, some of you are a little younger, maybe not, but uh, <laughs> this is how we do it, right? This is the game. And, you know, lighten up. You know, lighten up, baby. I'm in love with you. There's another one. <laughs> What's who sung that? I don't know, but um, I won't. Um, I won't. I won't hurt you guys' ears by trying to sing that one. But anyway, lots of cheesy songs along the way. Lots of like relaxed joyousness, trusting the bread comes will be there. I don't need to be so uh, organized. I don't need to be compare myself to my neighbors or the guy on TV who's 25 years old and got a billion dollar company or whatever, blah, 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 blah. You're an original. There's no one to compare yourself to. If you compare yourself to anyone, you're wasting your precious energy. It's comparing apples and oranges. You're your own unique emanation of source. There's no one, nothing that you need to be like or compare yourself to. You can't run out of time to get it right. If you're 90 years old and listening to this, guess what? You've got as much time ahead of you as I do or anyone or the or the 15 year old that's listening to this right now. Right. We're all in eternity floating with nowhere. We've got to go. Nothing. We've got to get done. It's you know, it will all we all get. We all get the, the, the prize in the end. You can circle around the old man's shop and not pick up the key for eternity if you want. Guess what? There's another eternity on top of that one because it never ends. So, you know, you can wait a billion years and get the key and then you you save the princess in the end and voila, you get the girl, right? So you're going to get it in the end. So the question is, is, you know, how quickly do you want to do it? Well, you can try and force things and really, you know, force, 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 overwork yourself, burn your, the candle at both ends, or you can start really practicing this joyous state that I'm drumming up now on the show, right? This is what we're doing. I'm drumming up a certain vibration that you're feeling, we're feeling, right? And it's a, it's a relaxed state. It's a childlike state. It's a state of, you know, oh, this is supposed to be fun. I'm skipping on the trail looking for the breadcrumbs, not entering the forest looking for, you know, these treacherous monsters to jump out at me. And even if one looks like a monster jumping out at me, I'm going to be like, ah, I see you. I know, I know that's just a mask and you're really a big, like loving being beyond that, behind that. I know what's there at your core. And by you seeing that and tuning into the highest expression of any being or situation that is coming across your trail, you instantly call forth that part of that being or that experience 
understand that. That is so, you are so powerful by being able to see the light. Let there be light. Let there be light. I'm going to focus on the light. I'm going to focus on the highest part of you or this situation. I'm not giving my energy to the lower vibration. Yes, it's, it's, it's a, it's like a coin. There's, there's a heads and a tails. We all have different sides to ourselves. We all have, I think of my friend Karis, she was like one, you know, she's very multidimensional and magical. And I love you, Karis, if you're out there listening. Um, and she, you know, is taps into a lot of like stuff beyond 3D often. And I was talking to her uh, one day and she's like, oh, I'm just tapping into like the, the, darker side of your energy right and she's like oh you're like this mischievous sort of jester like you know you you, you're pulling it's like tricky like mischievous energy so that's probably some part i mean i can relate as soon as she said that it's like oh yeah i mean i love there's my favorite thing to do as a kid is like prank calls oh speaking of oh my gosh i just so i've been getting (laughs) squirrel tangent but it's so fun so i've been getting so many um like robocalls, you know, um, people just telemarketing, like automated from other countries. I don't know about you guys in the last, um, maybe month or two months, they've just increased so much. I'm getting like 10 calls a day from, you know, numbers that I'm like, I don't know who this is. And now it's like, I don't even answer my phone because unless it's someone in my contact list, because they're almost all these spam calls. So, um, Anyway, I downloaded this app called RoboKiller and it's it's taken, here's a great example. It's taken this thing that was an annoyance and now I just get a note of, it doesn't, my phone doesn't ring anymore in, in, unless it's a number that I know. And then if it's a known spam number, our organization, or I can see that they've spoofed the number, right, where they're they're calling and putting in a different number, like from a different area code. They can detect this and then they, they send it to, it doesn't even ring on my phone. It just sends it to an automated recording in the background where it's like a person answering and, and the, so they're, they're talking back and forth and it's like, you know, you can choose, uh, like they called into a radio station and they want to cruise or I, I've, I, you can, I set it so that they call and it's a guy who just had an alien abduction experience. So literally it's like going back and forth with this, uh, telemarketing call and then it pops up afterwards and you get to hear the recording. So, it went from this thing that was annoying to now it's like, it'll pop up and be like, you got a new recording. And I'm like, hold, stop everything. I've got all this work to do. No, I want to hear someone who's calling to try and sell me something from India and uh, <laughs> hear them uh, talking to a, you know, a recording of someone explaining their, uh, that they were just abducted and just kind of taking them down this whole rabbit you know, rabbit hole of, of silliness. And it's so fun. So now this, like this annoying thing in my life, it turned into, it's actually, I'm excited when this app pops up and says, you've got a new recording. Um, so that's a great example that just comes to mind of how anything can be transformed into something joyous and fun when you're approaching it from the perspective of everything can become joyous and fun, or at least you can find peace in what it is. You can find some beauty in it, right? I mean, all the greatest art, look at the greatest art. It is, um, it, a lot of it comes from painful stuff. You know, you hear the term tortured artist for a reason. A lot of them have went through painful, hard heartbreak and trauma and everything and that's the juice that's where the art comes from that's the caterpillar you know melting down into a goo so that the uh you know imaginal cells can uh turn into a butterfly right so yeah that's what we're talking about today (laughs) nowhere we got to be nothing we got to do you are an original you can relax about your life We're going to talk about that a lot. We're going to talk about that every day, I think. Just relax about your life. Know where you got to go. Nothing you got to do. You are perfectly imperfect where you sit. Now what? Now what are we going to do? What do we talk about next? Hmm. Did I mention that you're perfect exactly as you are and that I love you? Oh, yeah. There's that. We could talk about that some more. I hope some of you guys will join us for this cleanse that we're doing. I'm really excited about it. I've never done any kind of a cleanse. And supposedly I was talking to to Tala, who is a friend who's also going to be on these webinars that we're doing. Uh, I think, actually, he's going to be on them. But um, yeah, he was saying 
Brandon, the amount of stories of healing of people overcoming diseases and just completely life-changing transformations from taking these Whole Foods products on a regular basis is you just wouldn't believe there's unending stories. And um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm just, any of you guys out there who are just looking for something, I don't know if you heard the episode with uh, Dave Sandoval. If not, go to back to, it's episode 691. It was re- released just a couple days ago. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing a uh, cleanse together, my first cleanse. And uh, he swears to me, my little pooch, uh, you know, I, I, I'd say if I lost eight to 10 pounds, I'd be at my ideal weight. And most of that's probably in my stomach. So he's saying that's going to be completely gone. He, you know, all the stuff that I've heard uh, about this. And of course, doing things together makes it easier. So there's about, I don't know, 25 or so people so far that are registered. So if you guys go to positivehead.com forward slash Purium, P-U-R-I-U-M, you can register for a couple upcoming webinars. We're going to deep dive into, you know, the whole, their products and and also how you can just just uh, to do this cleanse together. You know, there's, it's really any level that you participate is going to be good, right? Because it's, it's, helping to heal the part that I feel for myself the reason I'm so excited is I feel like I've always been like really like um, you know back to the video game analogy when you're creating your characters you've got 10 in agility and 8 in intelligence and 5 in strength or whatever like I've been a 10 I feel like you know really high up there in in spiritual energy and optimism and you know all these good things but where I've probably been lower, I'm probably like a seven out of 10 or something is in my health, you know, being more healthy. I think about uh, ascending. We've been reading from the book oneness. Well, if we're ascending vibrationally, isn't it important that all aspects of mind, body, soul are on the heightened, most heightened vibrational, you know, channel that they can be on? Well, how do you do that? Probably not by putting, you know, ho-hos and potato chips. Uh, Not that I normally eat that sort of stuff, but I really want to step it up. I'm going to step it up. I am stepping up in my own life where it's like every day, super high vibe foods always going in. Where I've been living is mm, some days, you know, but I just want to, I want to step it up. I am stepping it up in my own life. And I'd love to take that journey with you guys if you're interested in that. So, and even if you don't do it with the rest of the group, you know, those of us who are going to go down on June 4th, we're going to start a 10 day. Uh, cleanse and metabolic reset. Um, but even if you don't do it with us, you know, do it on your own. Do do something. Find find some kind of plan to like little thing. A lot of times, even as for people, it's little steps, right? Even if it's just um, okay, I'm going to add one new thing from the grocery store into my diet daily. That is uh, a good snack instead of my you know potato chip snacks. I'm going to switch out my um, like. I get it. I think they have them at Trader Joe's. If you guys have Trader Joe's where you live, um, organic uh, sugar snap peas. Those are awesome. They're so delicious. They're like, they're a little tiny bit sweet and they're kind of like a a great, uh, they're crunchy. So they're great potato chips swap out, right? Um, So for me anyway, so something little like that. I mean, if you don't want to go down the whole cleanse path with with us, um, Certainly not everyone's at that point. It's taken me a lot of years to get to to wanting to do that. And next, after that, at some point, I, I want I am going to do a fast. And that's even more intense, right? But um, I don't know when, but maybe I will invite you guys to do that. And that's really cool because, you know, obviously buying the uh, the products to, to do the cleanse with, there's some cost involved. Well, we get to the point where we do a fast down the road together. That's pretty cheap. <laughs> so uh, actually saves you money, right? Because you're not spending anything. But I saw a great quote in regards to this whole topic, actually. Uh, Synchronistically, I did a powwow that'll come out in a few weeks with Darius Oliver, who runs Divine Numerology, and he gave me a lengthy numerology reading and really cool. I've never deep dived into that subject, and so I learned a lot, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. He's a super cool guy, but it's funny because I just released this, um, you know, plan to do the cleanse and everything, and... um, you know, I was looking at uh, his uh, his page, his Facebook page, and his most recent post was, your diet is a bank account. Good food choices are good investments. And that was a quote by Bethany Frankel. But um, I'm like, that's so true. That's exactly what, you know, it is like one of those things. I think uh, Dave Sandoval was saying it's like seven bucks a day to 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 live, you know, on this this 
plan that he's put together. Um, and it's like, man, that's pretty inexpensive. A lot of us spend that on Starbucks, you know? So anyway, just thought this has been awesome. I've really enjoyed like having even less of a plan to talk than normal. I'm normally pretty free flow, but I usually have a bullet or two. Today I went in with no plan and I just completely freestyled and I loved it. And I hope you loved it too. You guys are beautiful and I do have some music to leave you with. Uh, this is Cellular, and the song is called Tides, and uh, I think it's a real good one, and I'm sure you will too. Until next time, I hope uh, the tide drifts you to somewhere beautiful, and you find the beauty wherever it may it, it may carry you. I have no doubt that it will. You got this. You understand how to play the game, and it is... Uh, it is a beautiful new chapter for us all as we continue to integrate all of this understanding of how, how to live this life gracefully, how to live this life with finesse, how to live it like, like a pro, right? We're pro gamers here. <laughs> and thank you for playing the game with me. I love you all so, 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 so much. Until next time, journey well. Love you all. Also, if you're craving more consciousness elevating content, be sure to check out Gaia, which is my personal go-to source for streaming consciousness content on the web, where you can stream an incredible 7,000 plus exclusive videos covering 5,000 years of wisdom. As you all hear me constantly say, it's a daily conscious effort to maintain an elevated vibration. And if you're looking to journey deep down the rabbit hole to do so, then Gaia is the best place I know of to do it, period. And you can sign up for your first month for only 99 cents at Gaia.com forward slash positive head. That's spelled G-A-I-A dot com forward slash positive head. Check it out. Thank you.
Trust the control. Trust the control.